I'm in the visitor center at the Chariot Halo Skyway on the west end. And I'm about to take off and ride the Skyway to the east, <clears throat> check out all the sites. But first I was taking a look in the visitor center. There's tons of Native American uh, memorabilia and gifts in here. Get a little bit of a flavor for everything and then head out on the road. Let me get organized here. Go up the Skyway. She said there's a place to eat called Ironworks, like seven miles down. And I'm starving, hungry time. So yeah, let's get up to the Ironworks and see if we can find lunch. And I guess the whole Skyway is 43 miles long. So that'll be nice, get some lunch and then we can enjoy the rest of the Skyway. Let's go, let's go midnight. Let's do it. bridge up here. Huge covered bridge. And I guess this uh ooh, there's a little bunch in this spot. Yeah look at this you can see all the details because there's no leaves on any trees or bushes. This is cool. You gotta trade the cold air a little bit for this early season. It's uh March 10 today. Happy birthday, Pockets. Oh, here's maybe a quick uh, take a peek. Okay, wow, that's cool. Let's take a quick picture. All right, now, this is all fun and games, but I'm getting so hungry. Oh, so hungry. So now it's like every corner I go around. Is this going to be where they have the food? Where are you, Iron Horse? There was that fork in the road back there. Jeez, I wonder if that was the way to it or whatever. If I screwed up, that'd be a disaster. If it's behind me, I should probably check that out. Because miles wise, I'm, I'm, she said it was like four miles, seven, seven miles in maybe. Seven miles down? Seven miles? I don't know. I feel like we're past that. Cold. It's just getting colder as I go higher. And we're at 3,200 feet right now. What is that? A thousand meters for you Canadians? Ah, overlook. Good. Let's check map. Holy moly, these overlooks are crazy. Look at this, the height of it. <clears throat> Let's pause briefly. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. I found the Ironworks Grill. The nice lady at the visitor center said it's like four miles in. It's like four tenths of a mile in. Like it's all the way back at the beginning. It's, it's way, like, uh, she made it sound like it was like halfway out or like a ways out or, no, we're up here in the middle of nowhere now. There's no food. Oh dear. Okay. We gotta go. We gotta keep going then. <laughs> you gotta try this place. It's in there, you know, a few miles. All right. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, you know, I didn't even look for it. I didn't even look for it. I'm like, I'm going to get on the road and, yep, get up the road a ways and we'll check it out. Got to be up there a ways. It was like, like in town with the visitor center. It was like, it was right there. Look how far downhill this is. Look at, this is how downhill I am. Um, <laughs> six miles an hour with no engine. That's how steep it is here. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, it's cold, okay, it's cold. I don't know that we'll find food. We're in the National Forest now. I don't know that there's a single business up here. We may have to go all the way off this thing to Robbinsville to find something to eat. Oh, these mountains are beautiful. It almost looks like there's ice on top of them up there. What do we do now? We turn this into a game? Like, how fast can I do the 
chair a halo because I'm starving. <laughs> Set a record time because of the, my stomach. What's your uh, hurry, son? I clocked you at 150. Officer, I hear they have an amazing burger at the other end of this road. There's a straightaway. Uphill. Come on, midday. Skedaddle. It's an uphill battle. That was slippery, holy hell. What was that? Was it like gravel maybe in the center? Lane position two that would be? I've been using all of the lane, crossing between one and three, and uh, I got quite a wiggle out of lane position two back there. Okay. Nothing that's gonna show on camera, just a wiggle. You can't show a wiggle unless the whole thing's tank slapper, you know? It doesn't show up. But you can feel it in the bars, in your butt. It's not ice or anything. 39 degrees though. Darn near ice. Gotta stay out of lane position. I think there's some gravel spots in the middle. Probably what it was. That is frost up there I'm seeing on those trees. No way, that's cool. That means it's 32 up there or less. Oh my gosh. I think I'm on ice. I think this road is icy. Holy crap. <laughs> um, I have never ridden an icy road, and I think I'm on one. These patches, um, I think it's icy. There's, you can see like the dampness on the road, and it's it's got a white I mean, I'm from Michigan. I know what ice like, looks like, but it's this is a weird. This changes everything. This changes everything. Oh, here's North Carolina state line. Welcome to North Carolina. Okay, it will be going downhill now. We're at 4,500 feet. It's not icy here. This is bone dry. We're on the other side of the hill or mountain. It's gonna take a second to get my confidence back. Look at the tree. Oh, I'm in the trees. The trees are frozen. Look. Look at that. It's frosty cold up here. Look at the trees. They're like, um, they're twinkly. They're all full of ice. Look at it. It's beautiful. Normally I'd be like attacking this, like, oh yeah, but it's, uh, it's so cold, if there's any moisture on the road, right? It's ice. So this is kind of a challenge that's unlocked. I've never, never done before, never experienced icy road. See, this is in the shade again now, because I'm on the other side, like, when you switch sides of these little valleys, now I'm in the shade, there's moisture. I can see, there's the ice. Look at that. Oh, this is kind of crazy. We just gotta chill. Easy now. And then into the sun. Look at the view though. What a wild experience. What a fun little run. This is cool. There we go. Scenic overlook right here. Picture time, picture time, picture time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, you can see the. I'll try to warm my hands too. Wow, this is downhill. Ugh. Hands are frozen big time. Look at these crystals. A tunnel, like a tunnel of crystals. Ice palace. Look at this, and they're not dripping. This has got to be a unique experience. I don't know, I mean, 
I don't know how often it happens where it rains up here and it freezes like this and it turns into a everything looks like it's covered in glass it's amazing look at the trees all look like they're glass that's so magical you can only see this if you're brave enough or if you have a car Okay, steep grade, downhill, I'm at 5,300 feet. We're going down, leaving the National Forest. We're 2,600 feet and falling. Now serving lunch, Snowbird Mountain Lodge. Um, um, Snowbird Mountain Lodge, now serving lunch. Can you say U-turn back to the snowbird? Let's go see what they got going on. Yeah, they got balloons out and everything. Look at this, now serving lunch. Those are balloons. The, the balloons mean that this is the place to come. That's what that means. Look at this gate and everything. Wow, look at their driveway. It goes up the mountain. Look at their driveway. Oh, this is awesome. All the moss on here. This is so cool. A mountain lodge now serving lunch. Caution drives slowly. Well, yeah, it's almost vertical. <laughs> I mean, almost need first gear. <laughs> this is so steep. Is there a lookout up here too? Come on. I think Midnight Park's right here. This is pretty. Electronics off. Food on. Okay, this place is amazing. I found a quiet corner here real quick. It's a set lunch. It's like delicious hot lunch. And uh, I'm going for it, doing it. What a place. They said they just started a lunch service up here and I just happened to run into it. So what about that, right? It's freezing out. I saw ice. I'm in the middle of the mountains and I found a lodge with a hot lunch special. And I'm cozy by the fire. I gotta go back to my table though, because that's where my coffee is. Come on. <laughs>